Last video, I said I was going to give the M65 a pass, but I had second thoughts. After all, at high voltage, we're in the business of making and manufacturing upgrade kits for this motor. So if we want to keep offering these and develop the kit further with more features, we will have to accept these changes. I don't know if the old version will be around much longer. I've had a few comments to suggest that prices might actually go up for the now legacy version. So I ordered a bare M65 1000 watts with a 100mm bottom bracket size. The 120mm option was absent and it'll be interesting to see if the older parts to extend the axle will fit this new version and keep fat bike frames as a viable option. Once the motor arrives in about a month, we can have a good look and see exactly what we have to work with. From there, we will see what is needed to get the M65 running with the high voltage back 855 kit. Hopefully, it won't need too much messing around. If it looks like significant wiring changes have been made, then we might need to take a look at the hall sensor board to see what's going on there. The cover plate for where the stock controller mounts will definitely need a redesign, so making that a bit more fancy will be something I will enjoy. The motor, as long as it is viable, will then get installed onto a bike with a nice build series of videos to help people install the high voltage kit, as well as install the BBS HD in general. A few other bits of news before I sign off. The first is that I'm looking at doing a bit of merchandise with the high voltage brand. I have a few samples on the way for this first t-shirt, and if it works out, I'll make it available. If this goes well, then I'll make a few other items, and if people have suggestions, let me know. The other thing to update on is the Lightning Rods motorcycle build. For people that are not aware, this is the major bike build for this year, and it's using the 10 kilowatt Lightning Rods motor with the Vector Typhoon frame set and a KTM front end. This is not an e-bike conversion, no pedals, no assist. This is a full-on light electric vehicle that will use DOT approved parts wherever possible. Progress has been rather delayed due to shipping issues caused by, as far as I can tell, the deliberate sabotage of the US postal system for purely political reasons. I do now have the parts I was waiting on though, so I can start making more progress on the geometry wheels and brakes. I'll describe in much more detail how I'm adapting the motorcycle front end in the next video. So thanks for watching and lots more to come on all these projects. I post more regular updates on the Discord server, so feel free to hop on there if you're not already. Cheers.